A-level English literature teachers. During this enthralling and rigorous course, you'll study a wide range of fantastic texts, including Shakespeare's Hamlet and Tennessee Williams's A Streetcar Named Desire for the drama aspect of the course. For prose, we compare Ishiguro's Never Let Me Go, a text about the ethics behind human cloning with Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, and you'll also study a wide range of poetry, um, both modern and from the Romantic era. Students also have the opportunity to select their own texts and essay focus for the coursework element of the A-level, enabling you to explore the writers and genres which really capture your imagination. I'm also exceedingly proud that we have students working on their first novels and own collections of poetry. The English Literature A-Level is regarded very highly by universities and employers alike. As well as an English or creative writing based degree, students of literature might go on to study for university degrees in a range of subjects including history, sociology, psychology, theatre studies and law. By studying literature, you will be developing valuable transferable skills such as your interpretive abilities, communication, a deep understanding of how language works, close analysis and the ability to construct well-expressed essays. The world-class and phenomenally supportive Forest Six will offer you a fantastic education um, and help you to excel and build a great future. Hi, my name is Jensen. I take uh, English Literature for a as one of my A-level subjects and within that uh, course we have to do coursework and the two novels I've selected for it is Birdsong by Sebastian Fox and a Regeneration by Pat Barker and the question I outlined is what, how do the uh, authors present the experiences of warfare? I'm interested in this specific theme because I'd like to have a more developed understanding on how soldiers from the First World War experience these types of conflicts and horrors. So the advice I give a year 11 student who is considering an English literature A level is to really focus on your analytical skills and reading. For So for example, for me, I really like analysing and looking at how authors kind of present language and themes in novels, because I really would like to apply this in future life. For example, ending university and becoming a journalist. Hi, my name is Jordan Graham. I study English literature at the Forest School. Uh, part of our course is our coursework, and for this coursework, we get to choose our own text. The text I chose is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and The Colour Purple by Alice Walker. Uh, and the focus of my coursework is the author's presentation of gender and sexuality. I really enjoy these books and I chose this coursework because I believe in studying um, gender university and it, it impacts what I want to go on to do, which is a PPE. So any year 11 should study English literature at Forest because we have a really strong English department. Our teachers are really, really considerate and some of the, te uh, the texts that we study are really interesting. So for example, uh, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley or Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Hi, I'm, I'm Garmin and I play English literature at the Forest Sixth Form. I did it because I wanted to build my energy into school schools, kind of going into university, I'm going to do law. So I thought that would be really helpful for me. I always liked English since I was a little kid because I always loved poetry, reading poetry. I write poetry outside of school as well, so it kind of helped me build up on that. Uh, part of our course is doing coursework. And for my coursework, I chose two pieces that I like close to my heart, which is The Kite Runner and The Reluctant Fundamentals, both by Mosin Ahmed and Hale Bassani. And I feel they were quite important for me because it talks about Islamophobia post 9-11 which is kind of something that's affected my life as someone who's as a Muslim who's experienced Islamophobia and it kind of talks about the racism and prejudice that uh, Muslims have to go through on a daily basis and it's something that was really close to my heart that I feel I could talk about in quite like, good, good, in a good way. Some of the skills that I've learned with English doing it at A level is kind of being able to read, read quickly, read and break down big, big pieces of text kind of um, looking at them, kind of like looking at the most important parts of it. Um, whereas in like lower school, you usually highlight loads of things in English. Kind of have to look at the what's what, what, what's behind the meaning behind the meaning, rather than just the meaning of what's being said. And as well as like just reading a range of texts. Just it doesn't have to be like just the classics. It can be like quite contemporary as well.